The killer then left to have his way with Chris. Somehow, Doug managed to muster enough strength to break loose from the clothesline that bound him. He grabbed the savage, loaded it, and waited. Knowing that if he headed upstairs for the bedroom, Nance would surely use Chris as a shield. Doug banged the butt of the rifle against the wall to get Nance's attention. The ploy worked. Nance raced back toward the basement stairs, and as soon as he came into view, Doug let him have it with the savage. When Doug saw the wounded, Nance begin to rise, proceeded to pummel him with the butt of the rifle. As Nance crawled toward the bedroom, Doug continued to beat him with the gun until the butt splintered. Nance pulled his gun from its pouch on his belt and fired at Doug, missing him. His second shot caught Doug just above the knee, but Doug kept coming, beating Nance with the barrel of the rifle until the man stopped moving. Nance died a few hours later.